St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. And welcome to all of you. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by the contribution from two donors. The first is Mary T. McCarran from Antigonish, Nova Scotia, and she offers this Mass in memory of her husband, Leo, who died December 25th, 2003, and for her son, Gregory, who died four years ago today. And for the other living and deceased members of her family, Mrs. McCarran, her daughters and son-in-law, are here with us, and so I welcome them to St. Basil's Church this day. The second is Annie from St. John Chrysostom Parish in Arnprior, who also lost her husband and a son. And she's asked that we recall her husband Henry and her son Harold in this Mass this day, for all the living and deceased members of her family, and also for peace in the Middle East. And on behalf of all the faithful across Canada, we sincerely thank you for this celebration. And so we begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. We take a moment to acknowledge that God loves us. We acknowledge at the same time that we have not always been faithful. And so we ask forgiveness of God and of each other. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, and I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Father of heaven and earth, hear our prayers and show us the way to peace in the world. And grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. Elkanah, his wives and children, offered sacrifice at the temple in Shiloh and then sat down to eat the sacrificial meal. After they had eaten and drunk, Hannah rose and presented herself before the Lord. Now Eli, the priest, was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the Lord. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. She made this vow, Lord of hosts, if only you will look on the misery of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to me your servant a male child, then I will set him before you as a Nazarite until the day of his death. He shall drink neither wine nor intoxicants and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying silently. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you make a drunken spectacle of yourself? Put away your wine. But Hannah answered, No, my Lord, I'm a woman deeply troubled. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have been pouring out my soul before the Lord. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman, for I have been speaking out of my, my great anxiety and vexation at this time. And Eli answered, Go in peace. The God of Israel grant the petition you have made to him. And she said, Let your servant find favor in your sight. Then the woman went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and her countenance was sad no longer. They rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord. 
Then they went back to their house at Ramah. Elkanah knew his wife, Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. In due time, Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. The word of the Lord. truly 